fancy doing a story challenge with me involving a unicorn? Yeah, you do. Take a look at this. Hello, my name is Sarah McIntyre, and I wrote the words and drew the pictures for a book called Robbycorn. I am the star of this book. Today I am going to set you a drawing challenge. Ooh, that sounds exciting. To get the name Grumpy Corn, we took two words, Grumpy and Unicorn, and combined them to make Grumpy Corn. But I am not grumpy. I am never grumpy. <clears throat> you can use this trick too. For example, think about your favourite foods. Maybe it's pizza, mm. or cupcakes, Ooh. or broccoli. Blue broccoli. <laughs> First thing we'll do is draw a picture, so we'll get our pencils out. I've got mine. We're going to design a cover for our book, so I want you to draw a unicorn and make him or her look as grumpy as you want. You're going to combine the name of your favorite food with unicorn, so this one will be pizza corn and I'm going to draw a pizza on its jumper. Write that name across the top as the title and sign your own name too. Then give your picture lots of color, make it stand out. And then tell your story. Imagine that your pizza corn or your carrot corn really wants that food. Mm -hmm. Don't make it too easy for them. Wait, what? Maybe when Pizza Corn tries to get pizza, it's sold out. Oh no! Then he tries to make pizza himself. What a mess! <laughs> Finally, he builds a rocket and travels to Planet Pizza. But what will happen there? I want to know. And then finish the story however you like. It's your story. No, it's my story. Okay, Unicorn. Yay! Well, I've already started my own story. Let me tell you a bit about it. It's called Uni Chips. It's a superhero story. Basically, Uni Chips is a superhero who throws chips at bad guys to stop them in their tracks. But one day, his arch nemesis, Broccoli Corn, yeah, sends an army of roast potatoes after Uni Chips to make Uni Chips agree that roast potatoes are far superior than chips. I know, mind blown. And now I'm hungry. Get right and enjoy. Can't wait to see your stories. Mom, when's dinner ready?